dirty, I'm covered in dirt. I have to take a shower, but I think I can clean up the dirt myself. <laughs> all right, I've practically cleaned up all the dirt. I hope Mom cooks dinner. Why do not you turn on? I do not understand yesterday everything worked. But work to whom I say? My leg. This is so painful. What do we do? We don't even have money for food. What's that sound? You're fine. What happened? I hit my foot on the stove. Somehow the stove stopped working. Stove stopped working? This is such a bad time. What are we having for dinner tonight? I haven't eaten all day. Hmm. We need to get money. We now have almost no money. We can't even buy food. Look, I have a plan. Let's rob a bank. It's a good way to make money in a short time. How do you want to rob a bank? We just need to come up with a good plan. You're right, Dad. We've never done anything like this before. You will study the bank. I will think of how we will rob the bank. You will break into the bank and learn everything there. Not so many people in the bank today. Stop talking, stay alert. Don't worry, everything will be fine. No one can get past us. The bank is right across the street. I have a bad feeling that something is gonna happen today. Come on, you always say that and nothing happens. Stop telling me, you're not my boss. And I'm older than you, so you have to listen to me. Sorry, I'm late. Did you find out anything yet? Yep. See, there are guards they fight. You have to distract them. Stop yelling at me, you're acting like a clown. Am I a clown? You're acting like a child? Who is that? What, who are you talking about? Hello, boys. Do not help the poor girl who is in trouble. Of course, we'll help you anything for you. I broke down my car. It is right there. And I will show you everything. <laughs> Fine, she, now it's up to me. It's so good to be out on the street today. JJ, you're doing great to be a cop like me and your mom. Hmm. Wait, don't run away from us. I can't anymore. My legs are going to fall off. Dad, aren't they bank guards? What are they doing here? Hmm. They have to guard the bank now. So why are they here? One girl asked for help. We ran after her. It was near the bank. We must hurry. It may be robbers. I have a bad feeling. OK, there's nothing you can do about it. I must have been fooled. Listen, baby JJ, it's your first time robbing a bank. Yes, but I know what to do. Be careful, as the robbers told us already left, but I'm sure they left evidence. Stay alert. I have a good feeling. Great. Listen, let's split up so we can find the evidence faster. Hmm. What is it? I think I found something. These are trash bags, but what are they doing here? The guard said the girl asked for help. I think these packages belong to thieves. Hmm. My wife seems to have found something. Look, JJ, there are car tracks here. We can find the criminals. We need to follow the tracks. I think we'll find the criminals soon. I hope no one finds us. Stand up. It's the police. <gasps> You're all under arrest. Each of you will go to prison. Well, we surrender. It was a foolish <laughs> idea to rob a bank. But since you didn't spend any money and no one got hurt, and you got yourself a job of correcting yourself, so you should say thank you. Great. Finally, I went on vacation. I have to take my place like there aren't so many people. So where can I sit? Great. Then I'll sit here. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful view of the window. Wow, how much shake in the plane. Well, where is Mikey? Hi, JJ. I'm a little late. Oh, you are, Mikey. I'll sit next to you. Do you mind? Finally, we could fly on vacation. Honestly, I'm a little scared of flying planes. What a big storm outside the window. How can Mikey sleep at such a moment? I hope we can fly to the island and nothing will happen. Huh? Uh. What is it that shakes the most? You see this, JJ? No. Uh -oh. The wing of our plane caught fire. <gasps> uh oh. What happened is how much my head hurts. Yeah. <laughs> We were on a plane, and then it fell. Like, I'm not really hurt. Just a little hit my head. I need to find Mikey. So Mikey's sleeping again. We need to wake him up. Hmm. Come on, you know where we are now. What's going on? And why am I lying on the sand? <laughs> you have no idea how well I slept. Wait a minute, where are we? You know, Mikey, I'm not surprised. You can be serious for a second. Huh? Okay, follow me. We need to see this island. Wait, it was not all a dream. Hmm. How could this happen? And what do we do now? Hmm. <laughs> I think I can see it. It's a small <laughs> house, so you and I are not alone on this island. Uh-oh. Here I am. What should I do with you? 
If I'm honest, I wouldn't mind eating you. Let us go now, you know who we are? We'll get out of here when I untie these ropes. The head of the village calls you, says it is urgent. He said you should quit your business and go to him. Great! Now we have to figure out how to get out of here. Hmm. I'm asking you to be quiet. Yep. Listen, Mikey. Our wives are there. We have to save them. We don't have much time. We have to act fast. I don't want to be noticed by the villagers. I'll go first. You follow me. Yep. As long as nobody sees me. You're <laughs> oh. JJ. I knew you were coming. We got caught and tied up. I thought we were going to die. Mikey's hiding behind that house. Run to him. Just don't make any noise. I'm so glad you're safe. I was worried you might get hurt. We need to get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> how tired I am. And how we were not noticed by the terrible villagers. Ho <laughs> oh, ho! I don't think they know what happened right now. Now we'll have lunch. What could have happened? Where did they go they were here? How could they untie the ropes? I was only gone a few minutes. It happens. <laughs> All right, we've got an escape. There are two small boats we can sail home on. Hop in the boat and follow me. I'm just asking you, Mikey. <laughs> Be careful, or you might fall overboard knowing you. Well, JJ, you think I can't catch up to you? Don't make me laugh, Mikey. You can't catch me even if I'm standing still. I almost caught you! It's good that the kids are having fun, but JJ is a very nice and obedient child. You're all right, Mikey. I told you to watch your step. You're not hurt. Let me help you. Look, stop pretending. You fell your head in the sand. The most you could do is get naked. What happened? Do you see that, dear? Have you already run away? Why is Mikey lying in the sand, and why is our son next to him? What did you do, JJ? Did you push Mikey? JJ, tell me what's going on here. We were playing catch-up, and he hit his foot and fell into the sand. If you're lying to JJ, you'll be grounded for a week. I think you lied to us, JJ, because you pushed Mikey. You're going to be punished for a week. And lying to us is going to be punished. We'll treat your wound and feed you. Don't worry, we'll punish Mikey very severely. Hey, Mikey, what kind of drama are you playing at? If you hurt your foot so much, why are you walking? <laughs> it's your fault, JJ. Don't bother me. I'm so sick of Mikey. He's got a temper. All right. Well, I'm grounded for three weeks. And what do you have for dinner? I am very hungry. I'm very hungry, too. Here's your fried chicken. Eat and not choke. I have to go. My mom makes the best chicken in the world. Hmm. And you don't eat Mikey. <laughs> You did that on purpose, didn't you? Tell Mikey, you know what's gonna happen. What's going on here? I see you're eating chicken. You're all right, JJ. Did you drop the chicken? Go stand in the corner. It will be your punishment. I'll clean up after you. It's not fair. Mikey did it. So why am I being punished? And how long do I have to stay here? And where are all the others that have left me alone? What? Did they really go for a walk, leaving me standing in the corner? It's not fair. Hmm. I'll leave home. <laughs> hmm. What's good for you, Mikey? What did you forget about me? I'm your conscience. Don't listen to your conscience. Think you really hurt Mikey. But it was funny. You set up your friend, you got him punished. You owe him an apology. I owe JJ an apology. I thought he was home. Look, dear, Mikey ran away. We cannot leave him alone. I'll get him. Don't worry. He can get hurt faster. Run after him. Like there's no one else here. I don't want to go home. I'm constantly being punished for something I didn't do. I'd rather sit here. <laughs> I finally found you, JJ. I ran home, but you weren't there, and I remembered this place. What? I'm sorry, JJ. I was wrong. Let's be friends again. Hmm. All right, I forgive you. <laughs> but this is the last time. It's so good the kids made up. Mikey has to go outside now. He promised that we will walk today. Why is he so long away? I'm on my way, JJ. Put some more. I'll be out soon. I hope I don't have to wait for Mikey till tonight. Mom, Dad, I have a question. I can go outside with JJ. We agreed that today we went out together. I don't know, Mikey. It's kind of hot outside today. You sure you want to go out now? Maybe another time? Let it go. Just put this hat on your head. I think you'll be fine. 
Just a short walk, okay, Mikey? I don't want to wear this hat, but I guess I don't have a choice. Hmm. And here I am, JJ, finally allowed to go for a walk. What? But first I want to throw this hat away. Imagine I was forbidden to walk without these sleepers. My parents think that it is too hot now. Hurry up, Mikey. Can't you catch up with me? Are you okay, Mikey? I'm not very well. I think I... What's wrong with you, Mikey? Why you passed out so suddenly? It seems like you should have worn a hat after all. Mikey, hold on. What's going on? Is this strange feeling? What happened? Why don't I feel anything? I'm a ghost now. I'm transparent now. I wonder if I can walk through walls. I can fly. I feel like I'm floating in the air. And where I am now? Like JJ said that he took my family to the hospital. I think someone's coming. Mikey means you are lying here. I thought that in the hospital, you will quickly regain consciousness. I'm going outside to breathe. So JJ can't see me. Then what to do? We need to follow him. Why doesn't Mikey regain consciousness? Maybe he'll wake up tonight. I think JJ's really upset that I passed out. After all, he did not put on his hat. The hospital said that Mikey had a stroke of sunstroke and he lost consciousness. But he should have woken up already. Wait, JJ can't see me. And why did he come to my house? Hey, JJ, I made you some food. Eat up. How was your day today? Hmm. So, to be honest, thanks for making me food. How tired I am. I think I'll lie down. Hmm. I wonder if I can touch things. So JJ's sleeping in my bed tonight? I don't understand why nobody can see me. Hey, JJ, you're kidding me. I know you can see me. The witch really can't see me. And what am I supposed to do? Maybe when JJ wakes up, he'll see me. Honey, we need to talk about Mikey. I wanted to talk to you, too. You called the doctor like I asked. I talked to the doctor. He said we need to visit Mikey. So tomorrow morning, we'll go to the hospital. Hmm. What is happening? Something has changed. I seem to be disappearing. I don't understand what is happening. Ah! Hurry up. The doctor said that maybe Mikey will wake up today. Maybe he's awake and doesn't know where we are. Wake up, Mikey. He's coming around. How do you feel, Mikey? You're fine. He's coming around. <laughs> How do you feel, Mikey? You're fine. Listen, Mikey, why did we even leave the house? I just wanted to walk with you. Why did you ask me to go for a walk? Did you have a reason, or are you up to something again? Hmm. Look, McDonald's here. Maybe we can go eat. Yeah. What do you say we go together? What? I'm not eating McDonald's. You know I don't eat fast food. I'm gonna go home and watch cartoons. Well, hmm. Whatever you want, JJ. I'll eat it myself. <laughs> it seems like someone came, but today there aren't many customers. Hello? Are you ready to order? I want to try all the dishes you have in two portions and get them ready as fast as you can. Here's your order. We could put everything on one tray. Nice appetite. <laughs> oh, there's so much food. How hungry I am. I just wanted to try it all. How delicious. I had to order juice. What a delicious meal. Now we have to try this sauce. It was delicious. Now I am pleased. After a good dinner, I need to sleep. Perhaps after a break, I will order more burgers. I think I got a little lost. How do I get out on the main street? Hmm. <gasps> I think this is a gym. I should probably come in. I just wanted to get a little pumped. Huh? How many dumbbells in different machines? What? On this joke, you need to pull up. I saw it in the movie. What? This is a barbell. They look very heavy. There are so many dumbbells. It's incredible. Okay, you need to try to practice. I think I'm alone here. How many dumbbells here? I just wanted to do sports. Start with these dumbbells like they are not very heavy. And it's harder than it looks. For some reason, my hands are sick. After all, these weights are heavier than I thought. Hmm. I want to work lifting this bar. They look very heavy. <laughs> I think I can. Now my hands do not hurt. Well, I feel stronger every second. <laughs> now I want to try to pull up. I think I can. You have to jump up and grab the railing. Great, now you have to pull up, and it's not as hard as I thought. <laughs> oh, it's like I'm getting better. I feel stronger. I can pull up with one hand. Now I'm unbeatable. <laughs> now I have pumped myself muscles. It was hard, but it was definitely worth it. Huh? I just noticed, but my body is just in perfect physical form. Now I have the depth of my stomach. I'm like Superman. Hey, handsome, don't want to go out with us. You look very cool. <laughs> 
I think I've had a bit too much. Huh. I need to urgently find a toilet. I think there was a toilet on this side. How my stomach hurts. Huh? Is that you, JJ? Yeah, I see you've made Mikey a little fat. If you want, I can help you get your muscles pumped. Yep. And you'll be just like me. How heavy is this rod? Of course, Mikey. What were you thinking? How you could lift it is just impossible. <laughs> I got it. I could lift this barbell. Well done, Mikey. Listen, I even liked it. I want to suggest a swing. I feel a little stronger every second. <laughs> Thank you, JJ. Now I have an incredibly inflated body. Hello, boys. Do not want to walk with us. You have such an inflated body. Look, let's hold hands. I'm so glad we finally decided to go out together. Yes, me too. <laughs> I've been wanting to take you for a walk for a while. I'm glad I took a walk. Could you cover your face with your hands? Okay. I have a surprise for you. Great. Can open your eyes. These are flowers. What are these flowers beautiful? Hmm. Thank you, JJ. It's JJ's friend. We need to watch them. Prized. Hmm. Where we go next? It seemed to me that someone was hiding behind that tree. From the heat, I just imagined it. Hmm. Listen, I'm a little tired from the walk. Let's sit on the bench. Rest a bit. What a comfortable bench. How nice that I decided to go for a walk. Oh. Such. Listen, you didn't notice anything because I keep thinking there's someone following us. Hmm, what should I draw? I came up with a drawing of a diamond. How good that I have a magic pencil. And then I decided... What's that in your hand? What? Well, you have a diamond in your hand. Huh? Where did you hide it? I didn't even see you get it. Is it a gift to me? You want to give me this diamond? What? Stop it, Mikey. You think I can't catch you? You know I can run faster than you? Stop it. Great. I can get away from JJ. I'll draw a horse, but no. Horse with dragon's head edge. Where's Mikey? That's what Mikey is doing. Huh? That's what a horse with dragon's edge head is like. And what am I supposed to do now? I've never seen anything like it. And then this horse will attack me. Where did the horse go? And here she is, like a horse I can't see now. You have to somehow defeat her, or at least make her leave the village. But how can I do that? Okay, it doesn't matter. I have to find Mikey. He's always bothering me. Hmm. Honestly, I'm sick of Mikey. He's always bothering me. If he's tired of me, then I'll do it. I'll draw a guest, see how he can handle it. See what he does when he sees a ghost. Hmm. What? <laughs> well, it was easier than I thought. And now I want to make a big fire. I'll draw an anvil. What's going on? Why is JJ unconscious? What happened? Right above JJ's head. This is going to be really funny. <laughs> Stop it, Mikey. What are you doing with JJ? Don't you uh -oh. dare do what you wanted. It was just a joke. You're telling a joke. Here's a joke, Mikey. Thank you for not hitting you in full force. If you had not come, then on my head would now be this anvil. You can pull me by the legs. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. You saved me. You know, you're a very good kisser. I'd get in trouble more often if you kissed me every time. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what Mikey's doing now. I think I hear something, and you're Mikey. <laughs> How are you? Hey, JJ, I hope you're not mad. But we were having fun. I remember hmm. how funny you felt when you were attacked by the Gus. How is that, JJ? 